Trying something new today, going to recone this Eminence Kilomax Pro 15 inch driver. The first step is to remove the heat sink that is in the front of the driver. So to do so, you have to remove this hex nut that's in the back. Once you've removed the hex nut on the back, then you're able to remove the heat sink that's on the front. It's sort of pressure fit into the center core of the speaker. So with a couple of taps of the hammer, it will loosen that pressure fitting and allow you to slide that heat sink out of the front of the driver. Once the heat sink is out of the driver, the next step will be to start cutting the actual cone out of the basket. So when I flip this over, you can see the big chunk that was missing from the cone. So previously I had gone around and cut the outer edge of the cone and now here I am cutting the area in closer to the dust cap. Once the cone is out of the basket then I'm able to clip the wires that attach to the coil and move on to cutting out the spider which is this sort of orangish yellowish part of the speaker here down at the bottom. Once I cut through the spider, then I'm able to go and remove the rest of the dust cover, which is connected to this cylinder that's made of cardboard here in the center of the speaker. So this is the first time that I had ever taken apart a speaker like this. Um, hadn't realized how basically it's all just sort of glued together. Once I have everything cut apart, you're pretty much down to the metal basket and the voice coil and the cone all come together in the kit that I bought online. Once I had the spider and the voice coil out, I was able to uh, clean up the basket here a little bit, uh, vacuum things out, and started putting blue tape around that uh, slot right there um, because I took it downstairs and started using a Dremel to clean up the glue that was still remaining on the basket. So this uh, actual basket of the speaker here. Um, I believe it's aluminum from what I was um, um, figuring out here. Also was using a blowtorch there to try to uh, soften up the glue that was there on that top rim. That worked pretty well. A um, little bit stinky and such, but um, if you're not in an enclosed place that works pretty good. But here you can see why I had all that blue uh, tape, which all that junk. So here I am taking the actual cone and sort of fitting it in. Then there's this plastic um, piece that actually separates uh, the cone and such from the uh, magnet and the voice coil. Um, so once that was down in there, that gave me the correct spacing between the uh, voice coil and uh, sort of the cone mechanism and stuff. And this all came as part of the kit. Um, so once I had that plastic piece in, then I took it out, made sure everything was clean again, and actually put down my beads of glue. This is all part of the kit um, that came together, which I'll link in the description. So got that all on there, had previously gotten that piece of plastic in there, so it all lined up nicely. Then uh, once I had the cone in place, I was able to sort of press this gently and then start working around and slowly making sure that everything was uh, well um, adhered uh, to the basket with that glue. The glue was some sort of uh, pretty heavy stuff. So then after that, the uh, dust cap here going in, um, that also took some of that same glue on the uh, outer edge of it, and that all sort of gently was going into place. And of course, once that is in place, then I was starting to go around and use um, CA glue on the uh, inside of that dust cap there to make sure that it's actually um, all nicely attached to the, uh, the center cone or the center um, cylinder here. And with that, we can have a look at the final product, uh, two nicely reconed Eminence Kilomax 15As.